Hey guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. I hope you're all doing really well. Uh, I can feel a little bit of a sore throat coming on, so do forgive me if I'm a little bit croaky today, but I've been dying to review this for you, and uh, having a sore throat is not gonna stop me. So today we're looking at the official Jurassic Park style guide. Now back in 1993, when all the new Jurassic Park products were coming out, uh, there needed to be a brand consistency enforced by Universal, and the way they did that is by handing out these style guides to manufacturers. Now we can look at Jurassic Park uh, toys, for example, this is the electronic Dilophosaurus, and you can see instantly that these share similar attributes that allow you to identify the brand of Jurassic Park, and that's essentially what this document does. It's a really interesting set of images and writing, so we're going to take a closer look at all of that today. So as you can see, it comes in this nice folder. It's a little bit tatty because it is uh, over 20 years old and uh, you can see it says there MCA Universal Merchandising same on the back and you've got the Jurassic Park logo and that classic Jurassic Park sunset that we all know and love. Now this is an open up folder so inside we have loads of documents. This is very very exciting. Now on this side I'll get on to what is in here in just a second um, but on this side we have loads of pages of the style guide um, starting with an introduction. So, let's get started. This first page is of the island. It's got a little map of the island, and it's more of an overview of what Jurassic Park actually is. Um, so there's not too much in terms of the branding on this one, and it's blank on the back. As you can see, the pages are starting to yellow with age uh, around the corners, but uh, still, it's really nice, this collectible. So, the next part, we've got a breakdown of the logos. So here we have a logo sheet complete with the Pantone colours um, and uh, a black and white image of the logo. Um, it's also got different variations of the Conjoin JP logo and these would have been directly used as reference to create the actual logos on merchandise. Okay, so next up we have this black and white logo guide and it comes in various sizes which is actually for direct reprographics. So for Kenner and other manufacturers they would have directly copied these as logos, source logos for their products and you can see that's why they come in various sizes. So that's really cool to have as a collectible. Uh, so we're really pleased to have this on the channel. Then we've got the conjoined JP logos and they're in black and white as well and again these would have been used for Reaper graphics uh, for the actual logos on merchandise. So this is really amazing uh, to see these up close and see the quality of the original logos and the original artwork. It's just amazing to, to see these, the source uh, for all of the merchandise from Jurassic Park. Next we've got uh, International Symbols, which is a breakdown of the island logos and the caution logos. They're just more examples uh, of logos that can be used on merchandising. Really, really cool. And it says here, combine signs and symbols to make intriguing patterns for sheets and pillowcases. So I'm pretty sure that actually happened. And it says here, finding new uses for international symbols is just one more way to put your own personal stamp on one more corner of the Jurassic Park licensing market. So it's really cool to see this behind the scenes, uh, as it were, for Jurassic Park merchandise. Next up, we've got a breakdown of the dinosaurs. So this is really nice because it breaks down Crash McCreary's artwork that we all know and love. And it breaks it down into the various different components of the image. So here is a combination of the black and white sketch and the colour. And then here is the lithography for the black and white image and for the colour element. Um, and I think we saw these, just the colour elements, um, in a Blu-ray box set for Jurassic Park Trilogy. Um, so it's quite interesting to see that actually it was derived from the original image, but it was minus the black and white sketch. Here is a nice little image of the T-Rex from the front as well. Really interesting to see. And this one actually comes as a book. So as opposed to the others, which have been individual sheets so far, so inside, we have the Dilophosaur there, again with a fantastic front view. So we've got some nice orthographics for the dinosaurs. And then here's the Velociraptor. Here's the Gallimimus. Very nice. Here's a comparative size chart for the Dilophosaur 
the Velociraptor and the Gallimimus. A little bit of information about each. And then here we have um, more size comparisons with the Triceratops, the T-Rex and the Brachiosaurus. And then we got the Jurassic Park logo on the back. Really nice little booklet that and stands alone on its own. It's a really nice little collectible that. Next we have a breakdown of the characters in the movie and they've done these really nice pen and ink sketches for each of the key characters. So you can see there Dr. Alan Grant, Dr. Ellie Sattler and this one opens up into a little booklet. You can see we've got John Hammond there, Tim, we've got Robert Muldoon, Lex, and then on the back we've got Ian Malcolm and then we've got Dennis Nedry. Really nice little faithful sketches and uh, it's just a really nice breakdown of the characters in a booklet form. Next up we have the vehicles, one of my favourites. And it looks here like they've tried to um, imitate John Bell's concept artwork, but it is actually a completely different sketch. So whether they've traced this, um, just to make the style consistent in this guide, uh, but there we go. So that's the Jungle Explorer. And then we've got one breaking down the Jurassic Park Jeep and the helicopter. Really nice. Okay, and next we've got a page breaking down background scenes. So here you can see the Jurassic Park gates and the rotunda inside the visitor's center. Really, really nice. So all of this imagery could have been used uh, on people's merchandising, um, you know, key settings that are used in the film. Pretty cool. Next up, we've got more images of the visitor center there. Uh, we've got one of the raptor pen, a nice pen and ink sketch of the raptor pen from the inside. Um, pretty cool to see. And then we've got one of the control room as well. Again, nice pen and ink sketch there. Okay, so next up is a page giving examples of product execution. So these weren't actual products. These are examples of products. Um, that would have been used as reference by the manufacturers and some of them look very familiar so it's obvious that the manufacturers stayed very close uh, to this style guide but you can see here there's an example jacket, an example rucksack, uh, an example mug there, an example um, cap as well, baseball cap and bum bag or fanny pack as they're called in the US um, I don't think this happened. I don't think we had a denim shirt like Alan Grant's with the Jurassic Park logo on it, but that would have been really cool. Got some Jurassic Park boxes. I'm not sure if that happened. Maybe that did. Uh, Jurassic Park t-shirt, some nice Hawaiian shirts and shorts. I thought they looked really cool. Whether this happened, I'm not sure. Let me know if you do own anything like these. Pretty cool. And then on the back, we've got some bags. We've got a keychain here, and we've got the uh, wheel cover for the back of your car. Really nice. So some really nice example merchandise that kind of before the merchandise that even existed. Really cool. And I've got a mug just like this as well from Dakin. So that's cool to see. Okay, so next up we've got some example packaging. And you can see here we've got a Jurassic Park coloring book. We've got a Jurassic Park t-shirt label. And we've got a coffee mug for the box, the outer box of the mug. And these are very true to how a lot of the merchandise ended up looking. Okay, so last page is some more example packaging. You can see we've got Jurassic Park Action Game, and then we've got Velociraptor, which I'm assuming would have been the toys, but Kenner didn't really stick too closely to this. I mean, it's got the sunset and the Jurassic Park logo, but um, it's not in terms of its kind of, you know, its layout. It's not exactly the same, but uh, it's fairly close, I suppose. And then at the bottom, we've just got some more um, Jurassic Park logo examples with some taglines. So it says here, look for this brand on all Jurassic Park uh, products. If it's not Jurassic Park, it's extinct. And actually, here I have the product. And uh, you can see they've used that exact logo down there. This is the Spanish version, so that's in Spanish. But it's the exact tagline and same layout used on the actual packaging. So that's really cool to see that connection between this style guide and the final products. So on the opposite side we've got some extra goodies and I'm going to start off with these papers at the back because these are laser prints from 1993 of settings and stills from the film. Now I'm not sure if this came with the original pack or whether the uh, merchandiser 
uh, actually just made copies uh, so that they've got some extras whilst they've been working on the merchandise. But either way, they came with the pack and they're nice to have a look at. So we've got one of the Jurassic Park gates. Uh, we've got one replographic of the logos, uh, of the ones that we saw earlier on. So they were obviously making copies of the logos for various purposes. We've got a nice still here of John Hammond just having a, a pensive, thoughtful moment in front of that Jurassic Park rock relief logo. We've actually got a replica of that rock relief on the channel. I'll put a link to that down below. Um, then we've got the rotunda inside the visitor's centre, really nice. Then we've got the guests arriving at the rotunda. We've got a still of the jungle explorers outside the T-Rex paddock, very nice. And then we're back to more reaper graphic of the logos. And then I think, oh no, we've got a few more. Uh, we've got another one of the... Jurassic Park gates blown up, really cool. I'm sort of wondering who uh, who made these copies. You know, who, what was the product that they were making? I'm really interested. And then here is the Jurassic Park gates at night. A really nice picture that, um, not one you see too often. And then we're back to the first image, which of, was of the gates. So, last but not least is this. Now this is a slide of the Jurassic Park sunset which was used on all sorts of packaging related to Jurassic Park. Even the style guide itself has the sunset and uh, if I bring over the Jurassic Park uh, electronic Dilophosaurus again you can see that even this has the sunset in the background. Now this is a slide of that sunset backdrop uh, so if I hold this up to the light you can see that this is in fact the Jurassic Park sunset. Isn't that beautiful? So I've got an original copy of the Jurassic Park sunset in slide form. So at some point I'm gonna scan this in and I'll have a super high res version of that Jurassic Park sunset. And maybe it'll end up in one of our future Jurassic collectibles um, logos or something like that, but we'll have to wait and see. So there we have it guys, that was today's look at the Jurassic Park merchandise style guide. I hope you enjoyed this little look with me at this pack. I think it's a wonderful collectible to own and uh, I was really fortunate to come across it on eBay not too long ago and uh, it wasn't very expensive either. These sorts of collectibles were the most valuable to me. Um, they're little bargains that I find online and they were actually very, very powerful at the time when Jurassic Park came out. They defined the way that the brands looked and uh, everything was derived from documents like these. So it's really nice to have this in hand and be able to share it with you guys as Jurassic Park fans. If you've got this far in the video, I want you to leave a comment down below stating which piece of production Jurassic Park history you would like to own, whether it's from the film or whether it's from behind the scenes, do let me know in the comments down below. In the meantime, rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.